Hey, it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com here again with another uncensored video. You know what's nice about doing videos like this is I feel like I have someone to talk to. Not that I don't have friends to talk to, but it's a little different. Um, it feels like a confessional. <laughs> That's exactly what this feels like. It feels like a reality TV confessional. But hey, you know, a lot of people find those entertaining, so hopefully you do. Um, something... I'm right now just feeling like anxious. First of all, I apologize. You're probably gonna hear a dog crying in one room, <laughs> one side, and then my dog is running around trying to eat flies. So sorry about that if you can hear it, but <laughs> so goes life. Um, anyways, I've been feeling really anxious and I, I don't know, I, I, I'm trying to remember like when this has started, but it feels like it's coming off and on. I've always kind of fought anxiety, but I definitely have been feeling it more uh, recently, which I thought is interesting because I'm working less and I'm, you know, living here at my parents' place for the summer. And so it's like nice weather and I'm, you know, around friends and family and I have a lot more time. I don't have, you know, I don't have as many bills to pay and all of that. And yet the anxiety is still there and it just kind of reminds me of something really important that we should all keep in mind is that um, you can't really... Ugh, flies. <laughs> you can't really get away from those feelings. A lot of people like to blame feelings like that on external things, but usually it's internal. Usually the reasons that you have these strong feelings are, are more rooted in something a lot more than, than the things that we've been taught. I, you know, I'm going to go on a tangent for a second, but this reminds me of um, a lot of my feelings on marketing. It's like if you study marketing at all, you realize that most companies use marketing techniques to make people feel a certain way and feel like they need the products to relieve it. And I have a huge issue with that because a lot of times it's creating, it's actually making people worse in order to get them to buy something. So they're worse off. And then they're dependent on something, so they have to make more money, work longer hours to be able to afford the things that they think they need and they don't really need them. And we, we just kind of live in this world where we feel like we need, 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 but really, those feelings might not exist if it weren't for all this marketing out there, but the products are not going to help us, right? And so I wonder if maybe I'm like going through a detox or something, being here and having a lot less exposure to things. You know, I'm in this very small town in Massachusetts. I've, fortunately, my best friend is at her parents' place right now across the street while she's in transition, which is nice. But my boyfriend is like in Austin, Texas right now, so I don't know him. I only see my sister every once in a while, and I don't really see many other friends very often, so it's like basically just by myself for the majority of every day, and uh, except for online. So, you know, and I'm also not doing all the other things that I used to do, like, it's just a different world living in the situation that I'm in, so that's why I feel like I'm kind of like in this detox. And I hope that that's what I'm experiencing right now. A lot of times when you remove yourself from something in order to improve, you go through like withdrawal, and you st all of these emotions start to come up that wouldn't necessarily be there. Um, other things I'm trying to attribute to, I'm like, my diet feels screwy because, you know, my road trip threw me completely off. I was eating really healthy, I was doing 80-10-10, experimenting with that, and then that just went by the wayside. And I've definitely gotten a lot better, um, and I'm trying to move back towards the more whole foods diet and really, you know, limit and cut out the oils and salts and sugars, but, I, you know, I keep reaching for those. It's hard because my parents eat a lot of that stuff. Um, so, ugh, it's just like a lot of things feel out of balance. Then I got bugs flying over. <laughs> it's just right now, there these bugs are annoying me. Uh, 
then sometimes I wonder, you know, B12, like I've been experimenting with having more B12 supplements and B12, I um, believe, is linked to things like depression and anxiety. So making sure that maybe I'm not getting the right nutrients. So I'm really trying to figure out why exactly I have these feelings. And I think it's important for everybody to, because again, what are the roots? Are they emotional roots? Are they nutritional roots? Um, I like to figure out on those basics for determining how my emotional state is as opposed to reaching out for some, you know, fix. Uh, so yeah, it's it's interesting. Anyways, now I, I went on that tangent. I guess coming back to that anxiety, um, it's such a bummer. I was saying in, in one of the other video um, that I did last night is like, the pressure that I feel to meet these standards that I've set for myself through my website. I have like these like big ideas and big dreams and all of these things that, you know, it's like I have all that information, all the tools right here at my fingertips. And yet the biggest thing getting in my way is myself. You know, I have so much more time. Um, four days out of the week, I don't have anything to do. I don't have any work to do. I only work three days a week right now and only a few hours during each of those days. So you would think I would just be charging away and getting stuff done, but sometimes I wake up and I just don't want to do anything. And sometimes it just like the pressure of having things to do is a lot. Um, just kind of a glimpse into my life. It's like I have wake up every morning to emails, Facebook notifications, Twitter notifications, notifications on Instagram, um, I guess those are the top ones, and then, you know, checking Pinterest and all these social media accounts that I'm on, and uh, I love being on them. They're all so interesting, but it's like all those notifications, especially if I get questions, like, that immediately puts stress on me, so I created this Google Doc a while ago where people can submit things to a form, but now it's like I get questions on there almost every day, and it's overwhelming to me. And all I, all I want to do is go on there and answer them. And it sounds so simple. You know, I could probably just sit in front of the camera like I am right now. But I just, my standards, I just don't want to do it. I want to get on there and I want the music and I want the, the titles and, the, and <laughs> the imagery and all that stuff. It takes hours. So thinking about that work, it's just so much. And then, like, I want to put on makeup and have the lighting right. And I want it to look perfect all the time. And then I just don't end up doing it. And I feel like, I know I'm just complicating it for myself, but I'm just looking at the long run. But it's just so hard to work out. So those are the, that's just something I've been thinking a lot. It's like, what's more important? Like getting it right and so that it can, is that going to really help in the long run? Or should I just be producing content like I am right now? Because there are a lot of YouTubers out there and all they do is sit in front, in front of their webcam and talk and answer questions. They don't worry about the time. They don't worry about how it looks. They don't worry about exactly what they're saying or editing it. And yet they get thousands of views. But I don't know if I want to do it that way, you know? So I guess right now I'm really struggling with that, that feeling of, do I do it the way I want to? Is that going to be more effective in the long run? doing it really well, you know, producing high quality, or is quantity and getting all these things done more important? You know, not to mention emails and things like that. It's just like all these companies. And this is my dream. This is what I want to do. I want people to ask me questions. I want to be interactive on all of these social media networks, and I want companies to be approaching me and asking me to, to feature them and all of that. that. That's exactly what I want to do. But, so I don't understand right now why it's challenging for me. I guess like in moments like this, it's important to just kind of sit with yourself because you're not necessarily going to have the answers right away. So when I feel like this, like I really try to just breathe and just step back and be okay with it. Because for me, the hardest thing, and I think the big challenge that we have with our society, especially in America, 
is that everything feels so rushed. It's got to happen right now. We want things to happen immediately. And that immediacy, I feel like, leads to rush and therefore it's not necessarily the quality that it should be. People aren't thinking about what they're going to say. People aren't thinking about how they're going to do it in the long-term impact. People just want to get things over with. They want to rush on to the next thing. They want to do as much as they can in that in that time that they have each day. And eventually I feel like it's going to end up with people getting burnt out. You know, I feel like that's why a lot of people will be really successful with a blog or a vlog on YouTube or something for a few years and then it just ends. And for me, I'm looking for that longevity. Like right now and, and for the past few years, this is all I want to do. I want to make this my lifelong career. So I don't want to just burn myself out um, after, you know, a few years. And so I'm, I'm really thinking about the long run there. But I'm, I'm also looking for the long-term impact on my health and what kind of imprint I'm leaving. I guess it just feels like there is this rush, but then I realize, what is the rush really for? Like, what's the point of a lot of things? So having this extra time has been nice because it's really made me pay attention to what things really are. One thing I've been doing lately that's been feeling amazing is on my personal Facebook account I've been unfriending people and it feels like uncomfortable like I feel kind of guilty about it but I, I I did it first and now I don't anymore I had like close to 2,000 friends on there which might not not seem that much by today's standards but to me that's crazy who are these people I go on there and I'm like I don't know who any of these people are some people like my posts and I'm like who are you why are you liking my posts have we ever even met I don't even know what your face looks like um, and you know people's birthdays will come up and I'm like I can't say happy birthday to you because I don't know what to say I'm not just gonna write happy birthday <laughs> um, and you just wonder like there are also people that I, I haven't talked to and I'm like, do they even pay attention to me? Are they like secretly looking at my posts or do they not even know that we're friends? I don't know. So anyways, I started unfriending them and it feels like this major weight is being lifted off. In the past, I used to like want to get as many friends as I could and now it's like I want to get as few friends as I can because I want to just have that special 100, 200, whoever it is. I want to know everybody on that list. I want everyone to mean something to me on there. And everybody else can subscribe to me or be friends with me on Eco Vegan Gal. And uh, it's just started to simplify things because now I, the, the word friends on Facebook has turned the word friends into some meaningless thing. I want to bring it back and have that word friends mean something. So I want. I just want everything to mean something. I want everything to be real. You know, coming back to that marketing thing I was saying in the beginning, it's like, that just feels dishonest. And the whole, my whole philosophy is, is being natural and to be honest with yourself. Not make up these lies, not follow societal norms and structure, but just really get to the roots. Be honest. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to other people. Don't put on a show. And I think that's why I'm really excited about this channel is because it's uncensored. I'm not wearing makeup. I didn't practice what I was going to say. I didn't edit it down the boring parts. This is just me for 15 minutes. And you either love it or you don't. And it feels really good to just be that honest. Who knows, maybe the entire Eco Vegan Gal channel will turn into that, but I also do have this passion for production, <laughs> passion for dishonesty, <laughs> um, because, you know, the Eco Vegan Gal thing is very honest, but putting a, a little fun, entertaining spin on it definitely helps for people that pr prefer that to this, so I really look forward to hearing feedback. Um, I think I'm going to go tell people that this channel exists now. I, I was keeping it under wraps. It's uncomfortable, but I think it's okay. If people want to know the real Whitney, then they can come to this channel. All right, well, stay tuned. I'm going to try to get do these because it does feel good. And I definitely feel a lot better than I did 15 minutes ago. So thanks, camera and YouTube, <laughs> for making me feel better.